Okay, so welcome. So this is part two of our sequence and series um, segment. This is the second video. If you're just joining us, if this is if this is the first time that you're joining us, then you missed the first video. I would advise you to go watch the video where I explain the concept behind what we're about to do. Again, this is this this is the second video of four. In this um, part, I'm going to go over one or two questions and explain how I do it, and then you see the same trend going forward for the third and fourth segment. Again, if if you're just joining us, please go watch the first video. Give me your feedback. And then come back to this one. All right, so here's a simple question. And if you do not need to watch the first video, if you understand the question without that, then welcome. So the first the first question is 12, factor, 12 factorial. Let me just get my pen. So we have 12 factorial divided by 4 factorial times 8 factorial. So before I even show you the answer to this, I'm going to give you a hint what you should try to do first. If you watched my last video, you know that you can break the 12 factorial down to 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 and then 8. But you don't go past 8. Why? You think about that. Why do I stop at 8 factorial? What can I do with the, with the numbers in the denominator that will make my life so easy? Think about that. All right. The next one. 2 minus n factorial, 2n minus 1 factorial over 2n plus 1. Again, this one, uh, that was an accident. I wasn't supposed to show the answer. Again, this one is an easy one. Think about um, the hint that I'll give you. Start with the bottom first. Start with the denominator. You have 2n plus 1. And then you go down to 2n. And then what, what's next? Again, if you do not know what's next, it means you didn't watch the first video. If you did and you still do not understand, let me know by leaving me a comment, and I'll try to explain even better. All right, so take some time. Solve this question. Then I'm going to go on to the uh, – pause the video here, solve this, and then you can uh, continue the video to see the solution on the next slide. So here is the – here is my first attempt. So I have 12 factorial divided by 4 factorial times 8 factorial. As you can see, let me get my pen. So as you can see, I stopped at the 8 factorial. Why did I stop at the 8 factorial? Because there's already an 8 factorial in the denominator. So all I need to do is I can just cross it out. I cross them out. So all I am left with is 12, 11, 10, 9. And then 4 factorial is the same thing as 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. It's very simple. And now, I can simplify. 4 times 3 is what? It's 12. Right? 4 times 3 is 12. This is the same thing as this 12 here. So I cancel the 12 out. Cancel both of them out. Now I am left with 11, 10, 9, 8. And 2 and 1. 8 and 2. 2 goes into 2 one time. 2 goes into 8 four times. So I'm left with 11, 10, 9, and 4, which on my calculator gives me 3960. Very simple factorial problem. Let me know if there's any confusion. I'll be sure to, I'll be sure to clear it up. And now this one. This one, let's go back to this question. The second one, 2n minus 1, factorial over 2n plus 1 factorial. Very easy problem. Remember, I give you the hint to start with the denominator. Start with the bottom. I mean, start with the bottom part. You start with two n plus one. Then you go to two n. Then you go to two n minus one. Remember, you always decrease by one. Again, if you don't know why, go watch the first video. You start with two n plus one, two n, and then you go down by one to two n minus one, factorial. Again, why did I stop at 2n minus 1 factorial? Because I already have a 2n minus 1 factorial in the top numerator. So all I can do is just, I just cross them out. Boom, boom, that's it. I'm left with 1 over 2n plus 1 over 2n. All right, so let's move on to the next question here. 
I'll give you guys some time just to look over this. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to stop the video here so I can keep it short and to the point. On the next segment, the third part of this, I will um, pose the next questions. Thank you.